Hello, Weirdos! I'm Pastor Darren. Welcome to your Daily Undead from the Church of the Undead. It's been about a month since I've brought you a Daily Undead. Sorry about that. This is my opportunity, though, to bring you into what I'm doing with my own daily Bible studies, or perhaps bring you a short message of hope and encouragement during the week, aside from the normal Sunday episodes. If you've not already subscribed to the podcast or YouTube channel, be sure to do so now so you don't miss future uploads. And please, invite others you think might also like the podcast. Tell them to visit WeirdDarkness.com slash church for links to the podcast, our Facebook page, and more. That's WeirdDarkness.com slash church. Today, I'd like to bring you day number 19 from a YouVersion Bible app study I'm doing for Advent called Emmanuel, God With Us. And today's particular lesson is called Jesus Loves, written by Chris Horst, who is the Hope Chief Advancement Officer and co-author of Mission Drift and Rooting for Rivals. I really enjoyed reading this this morning, and I just could not help it. I had to share it with you. Dry farming is an old practice gaining new steam in the grape industry. Recent drought conditions in Colorado's western slope produced surprising effects in the grapes. Farmers found their grapes from drier seasons were sweeter than those from wetter growing seasons. In an outcome that seemed almost biblical, these deeply rooted vines produced better fruit than their regularly irrigated counterparts. Something similar may be true in our journey of remaining in the love of God. There is a heresy preached both subtly and explicitly in our world today – that the good life exists when we pursue above all our own comfort, our ease, prosperity, and happiness. Or even worse, the suggestion that following Jesus will result in us experiencing those things. The Advent story – the story of Jesus, that is – refutes these heresies. It's not biblical. Jesus abandoned the comfort and prestige of a throne for the filth of a stable. Jesus discomforted himself, demonstrating what real Christian love is. Remaining in the love of God is no more a guarantee of our comfort than it was for Jesus. This does not mean that we seek harm for ourselves, but rather we steward our power and privilege for the benefit of those with neither, obeying Jesus' command to love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. In John 15, Jesus compares a life with God to healthy, fruit-producing branches that remain in the grapevine. Jesus invites us to remain in God through our obedience to His command to love one another. As we abide in the vine, we experience complete joy. John 15, 11. Grape farmers increasingly concern themselves not with insufficient rain, but excess rain. In a world where happiness is promised when we live for ourselves and strive to improve ourselves, Jesus demonstrates real joy exists instead when we die to ourselves John 15, 13, for the sake of our neighbors. God, thank you for sacrificing yourself to show us the greatest love the world has ever known. Help us to remain not in our places of comfort, but in your love, the foundation of our calling and service. John 15, verses 9 through 13. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. Again, you can find this particular lesson in the YouVersion Bible app Advent study entitled Emmanuel God With Us, Day 19. If you enjoyed today's message or if you like the Church of the Undead in general, please tell others about the podcast whom you think might also want to join in. You can find links to the podcast, our Facebook page, and more at WeirdDarkness.com slash church. That's WeirdDarkness.com slash church. Thanks for joining me, Weirdos, and until next time, Jesus loves you and so do I. God bless.